Hey guys, thanks for clicking in. Hey, welcome to Mind Monday, where we talk about how the mind controls the body and the effectiveness and how we can make it better every day. So I'm in Louisiana, was there for the last couple of days, just came off the 24 mile bridge that leads to New Orleans into Covington, which is where top velocity is. And as I was talking to someone on the phone, we were talking about kind of being in a slump or being in a what the military calls the suck. Love the suck that you're in. The deep part of life that's giving you a lot of pain because it's actually building up a lot of character. And we do that with kids all the time. Matter of fact, kids are so young that every little thing that they suck or that they come up on that gives them a problem is devastating because they haven't really much to compare it with to life. So I had that happen when I was coaching my son's teams. They were called the Humble Hammers. And we went to Florida for the World Series, and believe it or not, we lost the first three games. I mean, we weren't doing well at all. I was doing what's called we were in a slump. So in professional baseball, they have something called the slump buster. I'm not going to go into details about that. But if you know anybody that played pro ball, they'll tell you what a slump buster is. But what I told the kids is it's something that we normally do not do to break up the trouble that we're in in baseball or whatever, whether we're not hitting, we're not pitching right. So at that time, uh, they have Waffle House, which is some people love the place. But for me, it was a grease pit of all grease pit places to go. I never went to it because it was so greasy. So we went to the Waffle House. We did something normally we wouldn't do. And I talked to the waitresses before I went in there and I let them know that, hey, our team lost the first three games. We're coming from Houston down here to Florida in Destin and we're doing a slump buster. I explained what it was. So what they did is they brought one of the menus over, the plastic menus, and they gave us a Sharpie marker. And we started signing the menu that we went to Waffle House, something different. And we signed the menu and we came back and we had a team meeting and everybody else signed the menu. And we put that menu at the top of the dugout as something to kind of bind the team together. That was our slump buster. Well, the crazy thing was, we lost the first three games, but when we had the slump buster, we never lost another game. Matter of fact, the last game, the championship game, was against a great team in our neighborhood, the Benders. Gary Bender, Tony Bender, Heath Bender, they're now the Wildcatters, but man, we played them in the final game. And what an awesome story, because it was the little guy versus the big guy the Goliath story. And we won. Matter of fact, I talked to Gary before he passed. God bless his soul. And we talked about that game a lot. He remembered it a lot better than I did. And I'm glad he did. Because when you're in the sucky part of life, whether it's a slump buster or whatever, you got to get your mind about the right thing. You got to understand that there's always, always got to be some rain before rainbows. And no matter how far you fall, you got to understand. It's like a trampoline. You may fall, but eventually you're going to come right back up. So guys, love the suck. Always remember there's rain before rainbows and trampoline from your lowest point of what you have in your life. Thanks for clicking in. Nuke out.